is happening YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I think we're changing it. I don't know if everyone knows my name, but if you don't, my name is Jamie. Um, and if it's the first time you're tuning into the channel, welcome to it. Um, if you're not, if you don't know what I'm about, then um, <clears throat> just go and look at all the uh, Honda rubbish. And there's a little bit of Astro VXR stuff in there. So yeah, I've blown engines, I've built engines. Um, I've done Santa Pod, I've done a little bit of Mexico stuff. Basically, um, that's what the channel's about, is uh, having a good time and basically experimenting on what I can do with my own ability, um, really, as um, everything I build myself, everything gets done by me, and I'm not no professional at it. I just learn as I go along. So I'm not stating on these videos that I'm professional or anything like that. I just do it for the enjoyment, and obviously you can see my mistakes and my learning curve for it. Some of them are costly, some of them are not, you know what I mean? It's just one of things. Some of them work, some of them don't. So, I'm glad you're here anyway. Um, I said the next video, if you watched the last one, I said the next video will be me building the engine. I lied. But I just wanted to do this to basically keep the channel popping really, because uh, there's some bits that has been done today. Um, and obviously prepping for the engine. Um, I can 100% tell you after this video, the engine will be built. But um, I just want to go ahead and sort of show you the setup um, and where I'm going to be building it because what I plan to do is I am going to, oops, sorry, this camera's been on me. Um, yeah, I'm planning to, going to get on the tripod and I'm going to try and do sort of a long, it's going to be a long video, I reckon, maybe 40 minutes. Um, there's going to be a lot of time lapses in there. Um, I'm going to basically go through the whole K2002 forged engine build. Um, and I'm going to go through every single sort of every single part of building it really. Um, we're gonna talk through it, um, talk what's been done, um, just basically so anyone else who's building it can get a rough idea on what it takes to build an engine and what sort of measurements you've got to do. And yeah, so um, basically anyway, I wanna show you the setup, I wanna show you what I've been doing today. Right, okay guys, so what I've been doing today is I'll show you the first thing, um, bear with me. Um, yeah, the first thing I've done today was, look what it is, the EG. I took the turbo kit off of it, um, as the buyer who's come to collect it on Saturday, he's paid me already, um, and he's come to collect it tomorrow, and <clears throat> he's got a sidewinder already, and he's got all his own turbo kit all ready to go in it, and he's we done a deal, obviously, if I took the turbo kit off. And he's got his own um, K Pro ECU, so I've got the K100 off of that and the turbo kit, and he's obviously sorted me the money. And yeah, he's coming to collect it tomorrow. Um, so that's what I've been doing today. I took the turbo kit off. That first thing I've done this morning. Um, the butt left the bumper loose because obviously he's coming in the recovery truck to collect it tomorrow. So I'll be able to take the bumper straight off and get it on the recovery truck. Um, this is what else I've done. And you let me open the door for you. Probably bolted up here. So there she is with events, guys. Um, very happy with how they come out. Um, very, very happy. So it looks like they're wonky with that one, but they're not. <laughs> they're probably measured about 18 times. So yeah, they are looking very sweet indeed. So I'm very happy with them. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with how they come out. Um, you're probably thinking, where's the shield gone for this bit? If you've watched, been watching the last videos, um, <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. But yeah, what do you guys think of that then? Drop a comment and tell me what you think of the vents. As I said, they're not mainly for looks, they're mainly for getting rid of the heat because obviously I'm gonna be running a lot of power and we've seen how tight the engine bay is. That's just to get rid of the heat even quicker. So to get rid of the heat even quicker, obviously I've got these giant vents. And obviously raise the bonnet at the back just to get as much heat out of the bonnet as possible while still having the bonnet on the car. As obviously you American guys, you a lot use rum without bonnets. Um, but in the UK, <laughs> we can't do that because our weather is so temperamental and terrible. So yeah, we have to adapt. Um, I'm not very happy with obviously having to run the vents here because obviously rain gets straight in and it gets right around my catch tank. So sort of, well, my catch tank's just over a bit, but my turbo's over a bit. There's not really anything there apart from boost piping but i'm still not happy but this car ain't gonna really be out in the rain just hope i don't get caught out in it um but yeah happy with how they come out let me know what you guys think drop a comment um first time i've ever fitted bonnet vents and they come out 
very good. They're all flush. I'm very happy with them. Um, yeah, no kinks. They are really in there. They'd snap before they come out. So anyway, what I was saying is about this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is the funny part. <laughs> I've got it here. And it's all, all good to go on, to be honest. But um, So, it's going to be on there like that. I'm debating to paint it black, high temperature paint black to go with the other else and make it a little bit circlish instead of um, instead of leaving it chrome because it looks a bit tacky. I hate chrome stuff on cars. So, um, as you can see, zoom in there. Anyway, it's not focusing properly, but... Um, as you can see, I started to drill it to rivet it into the bonnet. Um, and the drill bits I've got ain't much cop. So I'm going to have to buy some new drill bits before I do that bit. Um, not a problem. There's the old turbo kit of the EG. I've got another car coming on the channel within the next week or so. Um, that will be going on it, so stay tuned for that. I will be getting a new turbo because this one does smoke. Um, but yeah, that's it for what I've been doing today. So now I'm gonna go through my setup with you. Um, and how I'm gonna be building the engine. So basically, um, yeah, that's the head down there, clutch, obviously cams, cam carriers, and all that sort of stuff. That's all there, that's all safe there. Um, yeah, basically I'm gonna go through everything we are now, um, just so you get an idea. So the next video you'll see is me building it, really. So. I don't know what to do actually I might just do it in the start of the engine build video actually that's uh I'm thinking it is at the moment because I might just run down everything with a compression ratio the rods and sort of everything um as I do it but yeah you can see look my setup ain't too bad it's probably the best setup I've ever had for building an engine I've got a workbench there I told you guys I'm gonna get stainless so everything's clean um I don't want nothing in this engine don't want nothing going wrong um, and obviously there's my block. Obviously, I'm gonna put a bit more WD-40 in that because obviously I'm not building it till the Monday and I don't want it getting like surface corrosion. So I will be putting a bit more WD-40 over that and then recovering it up until Monday. But, and obviously we've got the copper O-ring here and I've got my little hammer because I've got to tap it in these notches here. I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest, because I've never done it and it's really delicate, but you don't know until you try, you've got to learn these things. Um, and before I actually start building it, I'm going to paint the block. And I'm going to obviously remove this. This is Firmstack Standard Oil Cooler. Everyone knows about this so on a K-Series. So that's going to be coming off. Um, and obviously some other bits will be coming off of the block as well. Yeah, so... And then I'm going to get that painted. Just checking something, sorry guys. Yeah, got holes there, so I was just thinking before I said in my last video, because obviously I bolted it to the girdle, and that's gonna have to come off, so I'm gonna have to um, undo the bottom ones on the carrier, on the engine hoist, and put them through there, and one through there, so, sorry about that. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna paint the block, and obviously I've got blades up there to strip all the old gasket off, and make it all, everything a fresh steel. Um, so yeah, we'll be prepping all that sort of Monday. I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna try and bang it out all next week. Um, hopefully I can get it built within three to four days, but I'm gonna be doing everything, um, every measurement possible, plastic gauge in it, and I'm gonna go through the process of it all so you guys can sort of learn and get an idea. Um, and I'll probably learn on the way too, like if there's anything I've not done, or I'm sure you guys can comment and fill me in on it. and just from past experience builders really. So, but yeah, everything's brand new on here, even a brand new torque wrench because you know what these are like. Um, I get scared about the spring um, and things like that. That's obviously loose because you don't want to have no tension on it. So the spring don't shorten. And I know you should really use a digital one, a snap on one, um, but I don't build engines that often to be honest. And I just couldn't, like this to do the job. Um, I didn't find it really feasible. Um, laying money out on an expensive torque wrench if I'm not going to be using it that much. Also, with this torque wrench, I need to buy the degree thing because obviously when you're doing the head bolts and the bolts on K-Series, you've got to do like 90, 90 degrees turn or 45 degree turn. But yeah, 
So that's the setup there. That's how I'm gonna, where I'm going to be building my engine and how it's all going to be going about. Um, got my little food stash up there ready. Um, I've got my um, tripod. So when I do film it, I'm going to have from the top, um, basically you're going to get everything. This, this whole build's going to be everything like I go for you. So, um, and big shout out to XO Racing. They've got my bearings sent out to me quick time. Um, and obviously the bolts and that. Make sure I said, use my code. You get at them um, and they'll sort you out guys. Um, especially if you come through the channel, just explain you watch my channel and they'll sort you out best they can. Um, but here's the other parts obviously for the build. Um, another thing that XO Racing supplied is a brand new OEM K20 water pump. Um, I've got this from Jack Service Parts. They're cracking, also an absolute cracking company. I got this ages ago before I was sponsored by XO Racing, but I've never ever turned them down. Jap, Jap Service Parts are absolutely awesome company. Um, they deliver quick time. Nine times out of 10, they've got everything in stock for you. So make sure you give them a, a check out as well because I, I can't rate them highly enough. We've got my cams in there. Um, got my thermostat here. Um, yeah, we've got some bits over here as well. So just so many brand new bits over here. I've got my K-swap harness for anyway i'm not going into that and rambling on again so yeah so so yeah that was it just a, a little video to keep the channel popping for you guys because um as you can see i'm pretty serious and i'm pretty excited uh there's going to be no rush um doing nothing the alternator's on the way out on the ep3 i've got a new one to live down there not brand new i've got a um used one good condition yeah so um, I'm going to be painting some engine parts and get some engine parts ready. I want that engine looking 100%. I'm going to get it all ready, uh, get the engine completely built. And then from there, we're going to go down to Craig's garage. I've already spoke to him about it, and we're going to get the engine put in and get it all running, basically, with a new box, a new clutch. It's going to be an exciting time. So the reason we're going to go down there and do it is he's got a ramp, and obviously it makes getting the subframe off a lot easier. I mean, if you look up, I've got metal beams in here. I, I can't get ramp. I probably could ask the landlord to sort something out about it, but it's just too much hassle. So I'm not going to bother having a ramp in here ever, unfortunately. Everything will be um, jack work. And obviously when you change an engine, it's going to be that expensive. If you can do it with a garage with better tools and uh, ramp, etc. why are you not going to do it? It's just a no brainer. And obviously Craig's a brilliant mechanic. Um, yeah, he's, he's very good at what he does. So, and he's got a lot more better tools than me. So. Yeah, we're going to get that done there once that's built. So, um, yeah, just another rambling video for you guys, just to basically building up to build the engine, because uh, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm excited. So, I've said I've never, ever built a K before, so this is a, um, a learning curve with me. I've built Punto Turbo engines, I've built Astro VXR forged engines, I've built B loads of B-series forged engines. Um, yeah, I ain't built many more than that, but I've built I've built a number of engines. I'd say over 10 to 15 engines in my life. So, yeah, let's go for another one. First time doing a K, it's just all about, it's attention to detail with building an engine. So measurements, uh, just take your time, make sure everything is clean. Like, obviously the oil ports and that, the oil squirters and that, make sure they're all clean. You just got to make sure every measurement is fine. Everything is clean. Um, there's no binding, there's no, nothing goes out of place, if you know what I mean. If, if, if you've built an engine or if you're thinking about doing it, you'll already go through this process before you actually do it. So make sure you've got every tool you need because you don't want to be left half like in the middle of nowhere. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. So I'm going to make sure everything is done 100% um, and I'm looking forward to it. So sorry about the rambling on video again guys but i do want to keep the channel popping i'm i just can't get to that thousand subscribers at the moment i know i'm only a little channel and i'm probably not the most entertaining channel but um i've seen a lot worse of channels with a lot more subscribers let's say that and i'm not saying my channel is the best nowhere near but i'm just saying i think um i've got a lot of content for you guys and i've had a lot of stuff on the channel so to not be at a thousand is a bit disappointing but it's life and you know I, I still enjoy it i I'm going to do it regardless if I film it or not. I'm not doing it just for the channel. I'm going to do this in my personal life. This is what I do. This is what I love doing. So, 
yeah so if i can get the channel to a thousand subscribers that would mean the world so keep just share it and just get out there man because it's i know if people see it certain people see it it was just just needs to kick off that's all that one video that needs to kick me off i'm hoping this year if i get into the tens that'll be the video um or the supercar killers when i kill a few supercars in the ep3 that should uh get a few views and the subscribers so anyway enough rambling Thanks for watching, guys. As I said, like, subscribe, share. Please, let's get to that 1,000 subscribers mark. About 30 off of it now. So close. Um, I said, thanks again to Exo Racing. Um, Matt at Exo, he's uh, sorted it out good. He's got my bits ready because he knows how much I want to get the uh, engine built. And it goes uh, above and beyond for me to get, get the parts when I need them. So a big thank you to him. Make sure you check their Exo Racing site out. Um, my, my code is in the description. If you go and have a look um and then you'll get 10 percent off um and he'll send you some stickers as well and nice t-shirts he's got in there as well i haven't got one of his on today but got my one on today because that's what i work in really so thanks for watching guys i'll see you again very soon monday's gonna be the day